Hello, I'm Cody. Hi, I'm Jessica. And we just got out of Last Jedi. Yay. This isn't going to be super long because we want to really late showing. So it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I know. I feel like I'm breaking a rule or something. <laughs> it was good though. Um, we're not Since we're not going to talk very long, we're just going to go over our general thoughts and feelings. Um, that and because the none of the promotional material really went over much of what the story is about. It's mm -hmm. just like, look how cool the movie's gonna be, and, and it was cool. It was, it so was, really, it was cool. really cool. I won't. I don't think we can really reveal anything without getting into spoiler territory. Uh, -uh. We uh, might. We might do a more in-depth video at a later point. Yeah. When we're more awake and it's not <laughs> super late, but this is not this one. Um. So overall, how did you like the movie? I loved this movie. Um, it's actually, I was really surprised because I actually had never seen um, The Force Awakens until today, right before we went to see this. So it was kind of cool, like being able to see that and then just kind of walk in. It was kind of a cool experience. But um, I was really surprised um, just because the, the I like the new movies and how they are kind of tied together, kind of like the older ones were. Um, they're really closely knit. They feel like it feels like one big story, and that you're kind of getting the different sections of it. Um, yeah. One of the things I loved about this one was just the very uh, character conflict. All the characters were rather complicated. Mm -hmm. All the characters that you thought, oh, they're that stereotypical such and such. It's like they twist it around with like everybody. And so oh, yeah. I was never. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time because I was like, what in the world's going on? Like the whole time. Yeah. Um, but in kind of a good way, um, the action's really good. I love how the newer movies, they still have action, but they kind of have the notion of less is more, and I think it makes it more effective. I also really love just the new characters. They're all really likable. They're memorable. Um, I just really loved it. I don't really, I can't feel like, I don't feel like I can say too much more than that just without getting into spoilers, so I'll just say go see it. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, if you love Star Wars, you're going to love this. Um, simple if you don't like Star Wars I don't know why you don't but you probably won't like this but if yeah. you do love Star Wars you love this one yeah I also really like this movie um, it is similar to the trilogy in the way that like, the story is set up um, I like this might be a little bit spoilery I like that we got to see a little bit more of Kylo Ren um, and we got to see how he became who he is. That was in pretty cool. The Force Awakens. Um, I'm not going to say more than that, but it's f fascinating. <laughs> I love how they did it. Um, and I like how Rey developed uh, over the course of the movie. Everybody grew, I think, from The Force Awakens through this movie. Finn had a really good arc. Poe had a really good arc. Um, Rey had a really good arc. Basically everybody, I feel like not one character got less screen time than the other, than any of the others. I feel like they all got a mini story within the overarching story. Um, one of the main characters, Admiral, I want to say Hodor, but I don't think that's right. She's the pink haired girl, uh, Earth Lady. Um, she had a fascinating story and it ended in a way I didn't think it was gonna end. I really liked her. Um, without spoiling too much, actually, I almost forgot her too. Like, I loved. It's just the. It was one of the examples of the movie really taking you by surprise. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I loved her very yeah, much. Yeah, her story is. Re it's really good. Um, it. Her. It ended in a way that I wasn't expecting, and when they revealed, um, something is going on in the movie. I'm not gonna say what. When they revealed why what was going on was happening, you're like, "What? Oh, I feel bad for hating you now. Yep. My bad. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, um, it was really good. Um, Luke and Leia. Oh my god. Um, you know Carrie Fisher passed away, and this was her last Star Wars movie. Um, so that really hit me pretty hard because I loved Leia a lot growing up and there are some beautiful tributes to her in this movie. Um, I don't want to say ironically because they didn't know she was going to die, Yeah. but some of the stuff in the movie is almost like, wow, this is like such a beautiful tribute to her. Like I know they weren't meaning for it to be like that, but it just, it came across like that to me. I teared up quite a few times um, 
with the Leia stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, fascinating stuff for Kylo Ren and Rey. Basically everybody. It's a really, it's a really good movie. Um, we saw it in 3D. Um, how would you recommend people watching it in the theaters? So, my opinion on 3D is it's actually, it was fairly effective. You felt like you were kind of in the world. Um, it depends on the kind of 3D you're into. I'm personally more into, as bad as it sounds, the gimmicky 3D. Um, if I'm going to see 3D, I want something to just kind of fly out at me. So for me, I mean, I didn't think it was really worth it. I mean, it was kind of a cool effect. There were some times where I was like, yeah, this is actually pretty cool, like when they're flying and you can, it kind of feels more interactive and more immersive. Um, it just depends on who you are. For me, I yeah. personally wouldn't go to see it in 3D myself just to save some money because I think you could still get that same effect from just the 2D. Yeah. But that's just me personally. Some people think and swear by the 3D and love how it looks and I can definitely see why it's just not personally for me yeah um I I'm, I'm kind of the same way I liked the 3D when it came to the space stuff um that was really cool um the 3D it really bothered me when it was like hey this person's talking let's make them 3D I'm like you don't you don't really have to do that though they're just they're just talking they don't have to be 3D <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, um, if you want to see it in 3D, do, because the space stuff with the 3D is worth it. Um, if you can get past people awkwardly being in 3D, yeah. um, that's just a me thing. Um, 2D, uh, I hear seeing it in IMAX is really good. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely go see it in theaters. We saw it opening day, um, and the theater was packed. Oh, yeah. And so I, I would definitely... Uh, if you want to get the full experience, go see it in theaters. Um, it's, it's this movie was funny. It, I was not expecting it to be as funny as it was, and when there are funny moments, it's nice to just laugh and like have other people laugh with you. It's like, haha, I'm not alone. I'm laughing at this. This is hilarious. Um, and when there were sad moments, everybody got sad and you know angry. It's yeah, it's a it, whole roller coaster. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very good. Um, I think that's it. Um, were there any, like, I guess, flaws or anything that you can, like, say was a problem for you at all? Um, the only, I guess, I don't really have any flaws, per se. I don't like the reason some characters did some things in the movie. Uh, I'm not going to say why, but it mainly has to do with Luke. Um, he did some things that I don't really agree with. Uh... That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah. literally, that's like a that's like a nitpick. Like the entire movie, I thought was beautiful, and the soundtrack was amazing, and you know the character development. It's just, come on, man. Yeah. Come on. I guess for me, the I didn't really have much problems with it either. It was kind of a movie where I was just like, oh, I love this. Um, with, I feel like if we see it a second time, we could probably pick out like, probably. what we liked and disliked more. But but I guess I guess kind of going off of what she said though about Luke real quick, um, just so everyone knows, the thing not to we're not going to reveal anything, but uh, with his whole character development and everything and the kind of things she's talking about, uh, for some fans they'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. For others, they'll probably be pretty be pretty mad. Kind of depends on who you are, how you how you view it. But anyway. Um, the only flaw I really had with it was there, I would say be prepared for a lot of really big moments and big moments and big moments at the end because I kept thinking the movie was going to end. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think that's a problem per se. I wouldn't dock the movie points for it, but I'm just saying be prepared that there's going to be a lot of like big explosive moments and it's not going to be like one big explosive moment and then over. It was yeah. like, I think for like the last 45 minutes, it's like bam, 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 bam. It just like keeps yeah. going. And I mean, I loved it. I wanted more anyway, so I was happy. But it is a little, I guess, jarring because you keep expecting a 10 and you're like, oh, sweet. And you're like, oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, nope. Not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, if yeah. I, uh, it's definitely not a boring movie. You will not be bored. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, how, do you, how would you rate this movie? I give it eight, uh, Ray Low Four Spawn out of 10. Dang. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it, I don't give this very often, but I'm going to have to give it 10 out of 10 Ooh. Um, lightsabers. So I just loved it. I honestly, 
would go see it again and probably going to try and get it at some point. I think this is just a movie that's going to be remembered for a long time. It was oh, yeah. one of the better, best movie experiences I've had in, in years, so I, I really liked say, it. It's probably my favorite Star Wars movie at the moment. It's It felt a lot like the original trilogy, but it also felt new, and it's I love it. I do. I really do. It's great. Go see um, it. Yeah, go see it. Um, if you can't see it opening night, see it as soon as possible because uh, this is not a movie you want to have spoiled for you. Oh yeah, um, there's lots of yeah. spoiler stuff. Um, so we're going to have our social media down there. Uh, comment down below what you thought of the movie. Um, give this video a like and as always, please subscribe. Uh, we're going to go sleep. Um, we're going to go home because it's tired. We're tired and it's super late. <laughs> um, so I it's hope you guys... 12.49 a.m. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got work, so yay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our little review of Star Wars. Um, I might see it again sometime this week with Tyler. I shall see. What about there you? you go. Yeah. Um, I might see it again. It kind of depends on situations. But yeah, it depends on how much money I have, too. That, too. Yeah, how much money. But I'm definitely going to at least see it again when it comes out on DVD at the least if oh, I yeah. can't see it again in theaters. But oh, yeah. I'd say definitely check it out. It's really good. It's um, amazing and whatnot if you're more for i guess the i guess if you're more for like a movie experience where there's less people maybe wait like a few weeks but yeah although to be honest it's probably going to be full for a while because it's star wars oh yeah so yeah um again i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction or reaction review and we will see you guys again soon goodbye Bye.